All right. This first news story is uh, it's it's multifaceted. You know what? So here's what we're gonna do. We're just kind of grab your popcorn. It's a long one. <laughs> we're. <laughs> I'm going to do a bunch of like bang, bang, bang bullet points. And if at any time you want to interject something, Adrian, hit me with it. Uh, because the, that's just the way this new story is structured. Like they, they, it's not one big news story. It's like a bunch of news stories that you can, if we want to click into it and read the full article, we can. But I gotcha, plan on Chief. hitting some headlines. Hit me with your thoughts on each one. And then obviously at the end, if we want to rehash stuff, we can as well. But so hit it. <clears throat> to kick it off here from Tom Warren over at The Verge. Uh, there is a leak and, uh, it showed off Microsoft's new discless Xbox Series X designed with a lift to weight controller. So a new controller, new Xbox Series X that is digital only, no disc drive, um, better power optimization, all this stuff. Uh, Microsoft is planning to refresh its Xbox Series X console in 2024 with an all new design and features codenamed Brooklyn. The unannounced console refresh was, has been accidentally revealed in the new FTC versus Microsoft documents this week. The new Xbox Series X design looks a lot more cylindrical than the existing console and will ship without a disk drive. Internal confidential Microsoft documents reveal as two terabytes of storage up to up, up from one terabyte, the USB-C front port with power delivery and an all new more immersive controller. Uh, the controller is features, it's not in the article here in front of me, but if I remember, I had like some haptic feedback type stuff. So it sounds like they're starting to head in the direction of some of this cool stuff that DualSense added with, uh, or PlayStation added with a DualSense controller. Not 100%, like not like it doesn't have like the haptic triggers and stuff, but like haptic like rumble and stuff like that. Um, so I, I don't know. I thought it, that, that stuff was pretty cool. Um, well, but yeah, what, what are your thoughts on? So the actual leaked uh contents here i again i feel like i'm in the minority i love the design of the new upcoming console but i really i was one of the few that actually really like the way that the series x is designed i love the fact that it's just a big monolith mm -hmm. that it's just like we we contain the universe of xbox here within this monument all you have to do is power it on and set it free you know it's so unassuming but then when you turn it on you get to see the full power of it i i love this design a lot too mm -hmm. i don't know if i like it as much as the original but i wouldn't mind having either one i i like the original better uh because the original looks more like a a game console to me this looks like the new Wi-Fi routers I just bought for our house uh, like two months ago. We, we That's what everybody to... said about the PS5 was a was a Wi-Fi router. Uh, but that's like it. it has, that looks more it, like a Wi-Fi router to me than a than the Xbox. It has a Wi-Fi like I, in, the Xbox reminds me of those Macs that they put out the Mac Pros like ten years yeah. ago. That's what yeah. it reminds me of because um, because of the cylinder shape yeah i mean our like yeah so we just got some like the mesh wi-fi system and it look, looks exactly like this but white instead of black we could have got a black i could have got a black could have had xbox series x but <laughs> no the playstation does look like well that's, that's the thing like you look at a picture of the playstation 5 and you're like that looks like a wireless router but then you like get it and you're like oh this thing's massive it doesn't look like a Wi-Fi router anymore. Like when you see but it in it's person, still ugly. it doesn't. Yeah, when you look at it in person, it doesn't really look like a Wi-Fi router. Where this thing, I feel like, if they're going for a more compact size, it really could just like sit next to your router, and people would be like, "Wait, why do you have two of the same thing next to each other?" <laughs> um, but other than that, but you and, you and you're right though. Like the the current Series X is like has this such epic look to it, like being like this this pillar that sits on your on your tv stand it's it's pretty cool i like that yeah. a lot but the but the two terabytes of space though that's pretty nice yeah that's the other thing i was gonna say too is i hate maybe it's he said phil spencer said that things have changed we'll get to that later on in his response i hate that this is at least per this document is looking to be 500 dollars still especially with no disk drive. I think that's crazy. I think it should be $400. I don't know what the deal is with that. I mean, but I know you get extra, more storage. And, yeah, an extra terabyte of space. That's a big jump, especially when you hit. think- you need it. You need to take the hit. You need to compete, especially because it's been four years. 
It'll be four years at that point when that system comes out. The memory should be a, a, a good little bit cheaper at this point for you to be able to take the hit and make it for Because if you do 400 and 300, now you undercut Sony by $100, period. Yeah. For, with their premier version of the system. Yeah, I just feel like they, they, I feel like they, you're right. They should do that. But looking at like what they're upgrading, like they upgrade the storage, like a, a terabyte of storage isn't like that's, that's like a hundred, even, well, uh, not if you buy it like they buy it. Like, it, it, well, what I was going to say, if I was to go out and buy like an M.2 drive, it's like a hundred, that's a hundred dollars, one terabyte of space where, uh, like they're using, what they're using is, faster than an m.2 in in some ways hope you i was hope. gonna say technically so, technically. so so like it, it, if anything it's on par with that price so and i mean i'm looking at some of the other upgrades it does have a better wi-fi router or radio in it so it's going up to the 6e compatible as they improve bluetooth in it so like there are things that more that they're upgrading than just the storage it's like there's other little technology so and i i get that but at the same time when you get rid of the di I know the disk drive is not crazy expensive, but being able to get rid of that does cut some of the price down. So maybe even four yeah. four forty nine, I'd have been like, uh, it's not enough, but at least it's something off. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, being being a digital version of it, like it, it does look. It doesn't look great when it's the same price, especially with like, yeah, the PlayStation, like they have a disc version and discless version is a hundred dollar difference there. Like that's why I right. got the digital because I'm like, I don't need disc and I can save a hundred dollars. So it would be kind of wild to release this in a world where that exists. But then this is coming out and be like, eh, sorry, same price, You're, but we're taking out the, the drive in it. <laughs> like, wait a second, what? Also, I have been seeing ever since this leaked the the physical old heads and you know all the people who are physical only are just they are having aneurysms left and right you know what though they needed a wake-up call it was time it was time you know what, it what? Look, digital where the where you are in the digital future now we've the, been you in know the digital what, future what's crazy for about this though years, what's right? crazy about this is this is gonna be a good clip the crazy thing about this is the same people who are like oh xbox doesn't have a disc drive anymore it, it, it you don't now that now they're forcing you to buy their digital games you don't own your games anymore are the same people who as soon as they finish typing that sentence will go and open up steam on their gaming pc and buy a digital <laughs> game yep make it make sense games have been digital for ever on pc like I can't remember the last time I bought a physical. The last time I bought a physical game for my PC it was like 2005. And they're gonna be like, they're gonna be like, oh well, well Valve doesn't blah blah blah. They don't DRM. They don't do. Do you really think that if Valve didn't, if they wanted to, they could just say, you know what, you can't play that anymore? Oh, they hundred. They won't. Can. They won't. But they can. Yeah, they can. You're you're the only way you're, you're guaranteed to not to lose access to a game and you buy it digitally is through because I, I think everything through Steam has DRM on it, it as Valve's DRM. But right through through GOG, good old games, you can buy DRM free games there and buy, download and like save the them whole, on your hard drive. But, but yeah, and hope but if your hard anything, drive doesn't fail in 20 years, you yeah, know, like exactly. these discs will from disc rot that you want to keep so bad. Yeah. Yeah, so it's you're kinda, 100 right. You're 100 right. It's like yeah, the same people are just they they say that, and then they're like, "All right, head over to the Steam sale. It's happening right now." It's like, wait a and second. And they're like, "Yeah, yeah, exactly." You, and you don't own anything. You, neither do you, dude. <laughs> Valve could go belly up, and they they claim they they hope. Yeah, if if Valve ever goes belly up, that oh we'll we'll take the DRM off of everything and uh, we'll be able to let you download it for free. That's if, you know, something catastrophic doesn't happen. You never know right. what, you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Never know. So never you putting your, your unabashed trust in these companies to do right by you is honestly pretty crazy. <laughs> they, they All Wild. they care about is making a profit out of you right now. Yep. Now, I also have to say, because people are gonna be like, oh, these guys are anti X, Y, and Z me being in favor of having digital games does not mean that I am against 
the efforts that people are putting in to preserve also these same said games. Okay. I am of the mind that look, if the corporations are not going to do it, we got to do it. If you got to, I, I know this is going to sound terrible. If you got to crack firmwares to download copies of games so that we have them preserved, you got to do what you got to do. Cause if they ain't going to do it, somebody's got to do it. Okay. You got to step around a, if you got to climb over a, a, a chain link fence to get it. <laughs> hey, because th <laughs> if you look at the landscape, none of them are doing it. Yeah. Xbox was doing it for a quick minute and then they were like, ah, oh, never mind. We're done. Right. Yeah. They had this big, this, that big effort to bring all the backwards compatible games to Game Pass and to Xbox service. So you can purchase all and play original Xbox games and Xbox 360 games. It's like that lasted like. And they were going hard on it for a maybe minute, a and year, then all, for yeah, like a and year. Then and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, uh, it's not even like they cancel. They just like kind of walked away real quiet like well that's maybe the, they won't that's notice the, that's the hard part right is that they probably walked away from it because they weren't seeing much of a return on it but you have to understand and i'm sure that they do but they also also are a business and they you know at the end of the day it's about their bottom line when you make efforts like this this is not a this is not about getting a return on this this is an investment right. in the arts themselves right yeah. That's why I'm so upset at certain situations like that. Like, I'm still to this day upset that PS5 should be able to play every game back to PS1. But it doesn't. That's insane. Yeah. I, there's, there's, there's honestly no explanation that Sony could give why I can't play all these past games. Even if they are through you know built-in emulators from for ps1 ps2 and so on and so forth if i put a any playstation disc into that system or should if i buy any yeah and i should be able to on the digital front be able to buy any past playstation game download it and play it yeah. but they don't put that effort in yeah so they have, they have a few of them so they've they've actually proven that it does work but they're not willing to go 100% with it. They're no, like, they won't build hey, the, the PS3 emulator. The technology is here and the technology is playable. We have proof of concept and everything, but we just don't want to invest any more money to make it open to you guys to actually use. We're just right. going to keep it on the back end so we can sl drip feed you like slow, slow feed, you know, these random games they come up with it's like <laughs> no one played that game what is this game like I, 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 I the other day i was looking at the classics library uh before my you know subscription expires in a month um and uh i i looked and i was just like what the heck like i didn't remember the names of them but i'm like no one ever played these games like because they, they recently added some ps1 games i'm like what the heck are these like this is wild <laughs> like i don't know i don't know what they're doing over there but but yeah, yeah, so I I feel like two things can be true at the same time. I am all for going forward with digital games. Uh, I do think also because they are fully going digital, they should bring the cost back down. But of course, they're not going to do that because why would they? Because you're going to pay it anyway. Yeah. Um, and at the same time, I still think that games should be preserved um, for the sake of the arts by any means necessary. So do what you got to do to get them. If the company is not going to do it, somebody's got to do it. And I'm not going to judge you. However, you got to get it done. But generations from now should be able to play these games. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and Source TV in the chat says, because they want you to get a PlayStation Plus for that access. The original PS3 had backwards compatibility and the later models, they removed it. Yeah, exactly. Like that, right now, it's just a money grab. But it's just what's unfortunate is like, even even their the way they're trying to make money like they're, they're they're doing such a bad job at that it's like if you want us to pay for playstation plus put good games on there then put all of them on you have <laughs> i know they have a they have multiple servers with every yeah. playstation game on there i know they do yeah <laughs> yeah what oh, are we I, doing they have like they have access to all these games and they're just like instead putting like just this no name whatever game on there that you've never heard of this Duck random Walker soccer game or something. 
<laughs> it's like, what the heck? Like, no, give me freaking Metal Gear Solid on there. Give me uh, right. whatever. Now, if, like, I don't know. If they like, if they had, oh, you can play. You can put SOCOM on there. Give me them PS2 can, games. I want to play, play SOCOM again. From PS5, if you can play from PS4 to PS1 through the, the PlayStation Plus, that would be worth the 160 yeah, I'd spend Easy. $160 a year for that. 100%. Easy to have access to the whole catalog for sure. But not with the output they have now. No. So, yeah, I'm all for Crazy. digital. Uh, I'm st- at the same time all for preservation. I don't care if you think that's contradictory. It's not. People can be excited about two things at once. That's what being human is, is having the capacity for it. <laughs> um, the controller, eh. I, I mean, like, it, it's it's whatever. Like they yeah. added they added some haptics. It's not it's not like burning any houses down, but it's also like, I don't know. It's it it's it's not bad. I, I saw some people no. being like, oh, I don't know about this controller. Uh, I think I'm not a fan of the color them. scheme. The black. I feel like if you're gonna do a black and white color scheme, the console should have some white some in there yes. somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. The color scheme's a little wonky. I agree with that. Um, yeah, I've seen some people who are unsure of it. I'm like, I don't, I don't have any problem necessarily with the controller design or with like the the features. But yeah, the design is kind of kind of. It's off. probably for the best that they didn't put like <clears throat> their version of triggers or anything in there because then devs would have to go back and patch in that support for it, and you can't guarantee that everybody's going to do that. So it'd have been a waste of effort. Uh, so it's- I I yeah I, I don't I don't and I don't think people would either. I mean that's. People didn't even do that with the PS5 when the PS5 came out. Like games that came out, there's a unless it was like a PS5 exclusive. There's quite a few games at the beginning of the PS5 launch that they were just like, nah, it's we're not gonna deal with that. <laughs> we're, we're not messing with that business. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's uh, move on here though with the story. Some sure all, more some more uh, documents that were leaked were also pertaining to Bethesda games. Apparently there is like an Oblivion remaster, a Fallout 3 remaster. All about both of those. Um, Cannot wait for those. So hopefully those are still happening. There, there were some other things on that list uh, that have that we know for a fact have already been canceled. So there's some thoughts like, well, wait, what got canceled? Um, uh, let me bring up the article here and find to read the full thing. But there was like a few things that I thought. Uh, had been canceled. Someone was telling me. Now I, now I can't find it. But um, multiple projects have. Or maybe, maybe it was just delayed. Was it the Tencent? Maybe uh, the stuff that they had coming to Xbox. Uh, maybe it was. Well, no. There's a Zenimax management forecast. So it was just Zenimax. Oh, okay, okay. Games. Um, I think there was like, I can't find it now. I think there was like something that was canceled, and then something else that was like quite a few things that were just delayed so a lot of people are kind of like these may or may not even happen like they could be like i think according so according to the calendar here i have like originally it was for uh it says fy 22 e i think that's supposed to be financial year 2022 um was when like the indiana jones games was supposed to come out but here we are in 2023 and we only just heard that they're like working on Indiana Jones now. <laughs> you know, they've been in pre-production. They just that got like made production. Out. So, uh, oh no, Angel, why? Sorry, I was looking what? over at the chat. Angel in the chat says, when is the Super Gamer Boys coming out? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we took one week. We took one week off. All right. We took one week off. Calm down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was delayed. OK, it was delayed. Oh, he, he, some... he, 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 he corrects. He says the game. He says the game. OK, OK. <laughs> and Sorcel says, how do I unsub? Oh, no. Everyone's leaving. <laughs> oh, man. We, we miss one week and everyone loses. Oh, their mind. no. We're the new <laughs> we're the new embracer group. Uh... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, I, I mean, I'm, yeah, I would be stoked for Fallout 3 remaster. Are you kidding me? That game was like, oh, that's like one of my man. favorite Fallout games. Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas are like perfect Fallout. So if you get a remaster. Throw those, on some three dog <laughs> going around busting rad roaches in their kneecaps. Yes. Give it three dog oh, radio. Said, they, they've remastered Skyrim, you know, a hundred different ways. Like why haven't we Woo-wee. got shown some love to like the actual good game? Skyrim's trash compared to fallout. All right. All I'm right. Gonna relax. Say I'm going to say it. I'm going to be the first to say relax. it here. You all, you're taking it. Somebody always <laughs> had to take it too far. <laughs> uh, I'm, I, I don't think people have been taking it far enough, you know? 
Skyrim's not that good. Fantasy setting, not good, not fun. The views expressed in this podcast <laughs> the, by the individuals in this podcast are not representative of Super Gamer Boys as a whole. <laughs> there, there's a reason. There's a reason we don't live in the dark ages anymore, right? Like we have technology nowadays because it sucks. No one actually likes it there. All right, <laughs> give me some cool futuristic shooter guns. No, give people me- just got mad because some people had magic and others didn't. So they were like, "We're just gonna make it to where everybody's lame," and here we are. And they killed all the dragons and all the the magical creatures. And now we're here paying credit card bills. Are you happy? (laughs) Uh, As long as I get uh, cool. I just hope the Fallout era comes, you know, actually happens one day. That's all. I just want to. No, what are you talking about? (laughs) I just want to live out in a wasteland, shoot some rad roaches. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh man yeah that's how it goes it's like sky bethesda is just telling the future first it was skyrim i mean that was our past you know and then we're we're in the present now they haven't made a game about the present but then there will be fallout and then man starfield. said i hope we starfield. get engaged in nuclear war i can't wait for that <laughs> uh, as long as we got bunkers we're good we're good right <laughs> oh, you think they're letting us in us common folk in bunkers okay good luck i mean they gotta experiment on someone right they only need a few of us <laughs> they need a few of us. Uh, and Sorcel TV says, hate that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I I got a little heated about Skyrim there. I apologize. I know. <laughs> it's just, just our numbers are just ding do 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 dropping. <laughs> like, oh, shoot. Everyone just tuned off. We're going to have All to right. release a video. Well, it looks like uh, an apology a, video. Just the hang on. The apology like radio where, where I comes in from office. <laughs> <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. <laughs> no, I, you you got to do the deep side. It's the. <sighs> we hope to never have to make this video. Sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. I apologize. Uh, I said some uh, rash things, some heated things. Uh, I should have thought about Ensorcel and Angel's feelings before I said mm-hmm. those things. Um, we also should and, have never uh, advocated for uh, nuclear warfare. So, uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have advocated for all-out nuclear war. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Those were some uh, uh, short-sighted things. And, um, well, going forward, if you stick with us, we'll hope to be better. We, you we know? will be better. We will be better. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next thing on this news story, though, is there's this leaks huge. This might just be the whole show. Are we going to talk about this? this I'm fine with that. There's so much to this leak. Next. Microsoft's Phil Spencer says acquiring Nintendo would be a career moment. Some emails in came dreams, out. In your dreams. <laughs> where Xbox was apparently seriously considering reaching out to Nintendo to buy Nintendo. <laughs> they did that already, and they got laughed out the room. They did that oh, years ago. It's absolutely wild. Um, yeah, I I don't know <laughs> what in what world they thought they could ever get Nintendo. Um, but yeah, there's these uh, behind the scenes emails with uh, Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer would really like to buy Nintendo someday. In an August 2020 email to top, two top Microsoft marketing executives, Spencer wrote that Nintendo is the prime asset for us in gaming and that getting Nintendo would be a career moment. And I honestly believe a good move for both companies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, not at all. How does that? What are you? How does about? that benefit Nintendo at all? Uh, the emails were revealed as part of a trend. Uh, a t- yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, they're gonna benefit by going to a platform with a third of the amount of the potential customer base. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, that's a benefit. Uh, as part of the leaked documents from the FTC versus Microsoft lawsuit, one executive, uh, Takeshi Nimoto, asked Spencer and Chris. Capicella in an email titled Random Thought about why Microsoft isn't finding acquisition targets like Nintendo a more attractive way to increase our consumer exposure and relevance. And at the time, Microsoft was in discussions to acquire TikTok, and Numoto didn't feel it would be the best match. I don't remember that. My, when was Microsoft going to acquire TikTok? How did I miss that? That was in 2020, TikTok. apparently. Yeah. That's what it says in the article during in 2020. Oh, that's, oh, oh, that's when everybody was like, we got to get TikTok out of here. It, well, not everybody. Uh, it was people who have never, you know, uh, rotated a PDF before that age and up. Uh, they were I like, see. oh, TikTok is Chinese spyware. We got to get it out of oh, here. Oh, by the Chinese. I can't trust them. Right. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and Sorcel comes in with a super warmonger voice. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Uh, and then he asked, wait, you can rotate PDFs. <laughs> old man, get out. Old man. Oh man. Uh, so I, I don't, I don't have much more to say about this other than how, how and then why. And it's it not like, even worth entertaining. It, this was never going to happen. Even. This was just, I think this got blown way out of context. Uh, I think it was feeling in this dude, just having a good time. He Being like, oh, happens. man, you know how when everybody has the conversation, oh, what if we won a lottery? What would you do? It's that. I mean, yeah, we, we do that every week. What if we were what if people actually watched our show? How cool right. would that be? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's uh, nothing here. Um, all right. Uh, well, speaking of the new console we talked about earlier, Microsoft next Xbox uh, could be coming or sorry. This is not referring to the one we talked about earlier. This is talking about to next gen. According right. to Microsoft, they think next-gen consoles could be coming as soon as 2028. Envisions hybrid computing. Um, so they're going to be... Is that soon? I feel like that's still a ways out. I mean... Uh, a little, uh, okay, it's five years. That's five years. Yeah, that is that is a longer console generation to, than normal. Because normally, probably in the next... What? <laughs> like? I mean, it was going to be two, extended anyway, right? Because we had a yeah. couple-year gap there where there was virtually that no sales movement, weren't so. happening <laughs> right COVID so that makes well sense because the average is what six years normally yeah about six or seven years so it, 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 we would normally be yeah about halfway through right now but with COVID happening I feel like it makes more sense for it to be closer to the eight like this to is saying, to 20, 2028 so um yeah they envision hybrid computing it says which I assume refers to like AI and cloud gaming so yeah the document uh they reveal the far future plans for 2028, by which a company believed it could achieve full convergence of its cloud gaming platform and physical hardware to deliver cloud hybrid games. Our vision is to develop a game generation hybrid game platform capable of leveraging the combined power of the client and cloud to deliver deeper immersion and entirely new classes of game experiences. Uh, I don't know what that means like does that mean they're gonna like hack into your lights and like make them change colors and stuff i don't know no one actually knows but it's gonna turn on your fan when it's a windy scene <laughs> yeah suddenly it's like the wind picks up and your fan turns on uh, <laughs> those old the, the old people we talked about in the last one that don't know how to how to rotate pdfs they're gonna think their house is haunted suddenly Pretty much. now there's now 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 my now my house is haunted by it's that dang xbox get it out of here get it out of here it's possessed by the devil <laughs> <laughs> um okay cool cool xbox yeah 2028 that's cool um I don't know I, look, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it okay we'll get there. they're just we'll get there yeah at hopefully by 2028 they'll have everything ironed out ready to go uh so that we can get this cloud game vision whatever they're talking about jumping especially because they've been working on it as long as they have with their cloud yeah. gaming software at this right. point it'll be over right. what eight eight years or more that they've been doing uh, the cloud gaming stuff well i mean the that beta was xbox started, one wasn't it yeah the beta started with xbox one back in 2018 okay. or so because i remember yeah, trying so it been trying it on my cell phone at work one day on my lunch break with their when it was called X Cloud, Project mm -hmm. X Cloud, or whatever, back in like, yeah, 2018, 2019, or something like that. So, yeah, um, so 10 years of experience on it. Hopefully, it's it's all uh, nailed down and ironed out. Heck yeah. Um, <laughs> real quick here, Jay Peters chimes in to say, apparently, last night's major Xbox leak was Microsoft's fault. Uh, that's really? Right. They, uh, they were gonna, uh, here it is. So oh yeah the, okay the I did hear about that the U.S. District Court tried to delete all the documents of the case um, following a huge error where multiple confidential Xbox documents were attached to a single PDF. Basically, I can't find it here, but I read an article that was saying that um, yeah the the court was like, hey Xbox, send us a private link that only you know, a secure link that has all the documents for the court case, you know, uh, and apparently not only was the link not secure but also all the pdfs were like in one file and so when i got put up on their website everyone was just able like oh we can see everything it's just right here <laughs> so xbox just did did it whoever. how does a multi-trillion dollar <laughs> company goof this bad dude so on something as simple see this is what i'm talking about this is probably the same people who came rotate a pdf 
playing with PDFs <laughs> when they know they don't have experience with it. All and now say, look where we are. We know everything you're going to do up until 2028 because of that. Yep. All I could say is that person is probably out of it. Long gone. Or, or at least moved, long gone. moved to a different department with less technology involved. Like They're in the clean, Cleaning room. toilets. <laughs> Sorry. <They're- laughs> you... Hey, uh, hey. <laughs> they are sorting mail as we speak. Yes, exactly. Um, absolutely wild. Uh, oh, yeah, here it is. It's, it's in this article. In the filing, Judge Jacqueline Scott Corley says the court ordered the Federal Trade Commission and Microsoft to provide the court with a secure cloud link. The two trial uh, exhibits with redactions that met the court's recent orders, but Microsoft provided a link on September 14th, and the court uploaded the ex- exhibits from there. Um, so they just... Yeah, uh, not only were things not redacted like they were supposed to be, but then also it was just, a, yeah, it was just public. <laughs> so absolutely wild. So with all that to say, I mean, there's more going on here. This goes on and on and on, but we need to get to Microsoft's, what they had to say. Well, old Phil, Philip Spencer had to say about this. I hope that's his name. Oh boy. Xbox chief Phil Spencer has just emailed Microsoft's employees about the massive Xbox leak that happened earlier today in the internal memo obtained by The Verge. I love how the, even the memo leaked. <laughs> the, the, the memo about the leak. Well, I'm sure, I'm, sure leaked. He, I'm sure he knew that was going to happen. There's too many Microsoft employees for it not to get out. Yeah, I, I, I probably. I'm, I'm sure he wrote it in a way so that if it did get out, it wasn't as big. It wasn't. It wasn't like he like. It's just cussing them all out. You effing bird. <laughs> um, in the internal memo obtained by The Verge, uh, Spencer says Microsoft's Xbox plans were unintentionally disclosed as part of the FTC versus Microsoft case. Documents revealed a lot. The disc list. Uh, that's not what his thing says. I don't know what he says things. Here it is. Spencer hints at the Microsoft plans may have changed, particularly as some documents were from last year, but others were from years prior. I know this is disappointing, even if many of the documents were well over a year old and our plans have evolved, says Spencer in his internal memo. Uh, On Twitter, he came out and said, we've seen the conversation around old emails and documents. It's hard to see our team's work shared in this way because so much has changed and there's so much to be excited about right now and in the future. We will share the real plans when we're ready. Um... Yeah, overall, he it kind of he, he comes out with the disappoint, disappointed dad uh, discussion, the dad talk, like, hey, kiddos, let's sit down. We got to talk. We got to chat. <laughs> um, and uh, it feels like a bunch of different things, right? It feels like he's also trying to throw people off, off the scent, being like, well, uh, things have uh, changed. Yeah, you don't even know if this is actually the plan. Uh, we could have changed stuff, you know. <laughs> You guys maybe, are just assuming that this is what we're going to do. Maybe the Xbox isn't going to be a cylinder. Maybe it's a yeah, pyramid. The the new Xbox like, Series uh, X right. pyramid. Okay, or, okay, it, Phil. Or it's in the shape of an X. <laughs> you just happen to have all these these product launches and drafts and, and explanations and sheets and all this stuff of facts. Just, eh, we'll change it and throw it out. Okay. Right, right. That's an effective use of time. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so it's it's very unfortunate this whole event happened, but also it's exciting to know that at least Xbox is working on something. <laughs> because to be honest, you'd be crazy to think they weren't. I mean, you're right. Like obviously they're working on something, but they just have not showed off a ton. Like we we got a good helping at Summer Game Fest this year, don't get me wrong. But yeah, I don't know. It, it's just like last year with no, with not getting any releases last year, and then the releases, most of the releases that have come up this year have just been good or less. You know, yeah. um, it's just kind of like it, it's it's been a couple bummer years for Xbox. So if anything, honestly, I'm like, this is cool. They're working on some cool stuff. I'm excited. Like, great. But, I, it, I know this isn't the way you wanted to. I, I, I <laughs> me personally, I would have rather it been an announcement in a more hype way. And I know Xbox would have announced it in a more hype way, but I, I, to try to find some sort of positive in this, it's like, well, at least, you know, that's, you know, they have some cool stuff they're working on. I don't know. It's unfortunate. Let's also but. keep it real, too, that the general public probably has no idea that this happened, right? It's all of us who are obsessing over this stuff on Twitter. And I yeah. always say that we're like point. 0.5% of the mass audience for Xbox. So they can really go along with these plans the same way that they've already planned it and it'll probably get the same effect. That's true. Ma- when you market it to the masses. So That's true. I don't think they're really <laughs> sweating about it that bad. No. 
Probably not. Probably yeah. not. Thank you so much for watching that clip from our podcast. Remember, if you want to watch the whole episode, the full episode, link will be in the description below. You can click on that and uh, check it out. We got listener questions. We got more news segments. We got uh, what you plan. We got a lot of fun things. So yeah, more than just the news. There's a little more, a lot more to the show that you should go check out. So remember, click that link in the description. Check out that full episode.